What's up, everybody? I'm your host, Tiffany Tony, and you're watching another episode of Lipstick Tea, where we talk about love, life, relationships, and whatever else we feel like talking about. Let's get juicy. I would like to introduce my lovely panelists. I'm going to start with the beautiful Miko. Ooh. I'm Miko, guys. Uh, Miko Rounds. Hi. Hi, Margo. I'm Margot Graf. You can follow me at It's Margot Graf. Okay. Oh, grr, baby. What's up, man? I'm Shorty. You can follow me at I Love All My Fans on Instagram because mm. I love all my fans. Mm. Mm. What fans you got? I, got I know what fans you got, boo. One, my wife. Hi, baby. Aww. Aww. She had to say that. Gay, gay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely gay gay. Um, so I just want to dive right in. I know last episode we were talking about, um, you know, discrimination within the LGBTQ community. Mm -hmm. And I want to ask you guys about your experience with being at work, like in the workplace and how you've dealt with mm -hmm. just being you in the workplace. I'm going to start with you because I feel like you got something juicy to say. Honestly, I feel like as a femme, I have it easy. I feel like um, more masculine women can't hide you know, their preference just because of the way they dress. So I, like, I feel like for me, it's kind of easy until we have like work outings, like picnics or anything like that. I'm like, do I bring my spouse? But I bring them because to hell with everybody. Like, I don't <laughs> care what you feel. What you think, it, I'm not screwing you, yeah. so. Right. You ain't and did you notice a shift in like the way that people treated you at work before they knew your sexuality versus after? Hmm. At one job, there's only been one job where I kind of hit it for a while, and it was because we all went out, all the women, and one woman said something about, like, oh, well, like, a, you know, a gay situation. A homophobic. And I was like, uh, I'm not going to tell her. Right. But I told everybody else, and they were like, why didn't you tell us? And I was like, well, you called me your work wife, and I didn't want you to think that I really want you, because you ain't yeah. really what I She's want. She's like, I'm not actually your work wife. I don't want your body. <laughs> she was ugly. She was very beautiful. Just wasn't something I, yeah. I didn't want her to think that because she'd be flirting with me that I was really flirting back, you know? Right. But other than that, I haven't really had the problems. Mm -hmm. Again, I think because I dress like a woman, it's not really hard. Right, though. right. What about you? What? Man, my, my last relationship was with a woman, and I felt like actually it was easier to be in a relationship with a woman because actually none of the guys kept trying to hook up with me at work. So you got promoted at work when you told everybody. It, no, just facts. Like, <laughs> facts. Um, so yeah, that, the guys at work were gay. So that's what that's what's going on. Is that what happened? Yeah, because I'm yeah, wondering guys, like. Guys normally try harder. Yeah. Yes. Uh, no, 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 no. They respected me. And I am very strict about my boundaries. I hold down my ground. They don't fuck they with me. They knew she going to go to HR on that ass. <laughs> like, that's what I'm fuck saying. Margo, she going to tell on us. Once they knew I was free, they were like, oh, let's see if we can have you and a woman now. No. Right? Uh, no. The good old no. classic okie doke threesome trick. Oh, God. <laughs> no, I had a situation where I was um, I was involved with a woman on a surface level, and I brought her to a work function, and it completely backfired on me because oh. she acted a fool, actually. Mm -hmm. My coworkers were fine, but she was very, like, anytime anyone would come up to me, just like, who, who, who's that? Mm -mm. Oh. She was crazy. Yeah, so it kind of, at, after that, I was like, I don't know She's if I want to bring no, I anybody keep, else. I keep my, my relationship outside of my work yeah. just because, yeah, I feel like I keep my life's very sections very separately mm -hmm. because I go into work, get my money, go out. Yeah. Right. I'm not I'm not trying they to don't nobody no fuck up. No. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Shorty? Well I can't really hide nothing. <laughs> so as soon as people see me, they're like, oh yeah, she gay. <laughs> she like girls. So I you know, in the workplace setting, I've had to like check people. Mm -hmm. Because I'm you. I'm one of those type of people like if if you're trying to treat her wrong and it has nothing to do with me just the fact that she's my co-worker you're gonna get you're my supervisor, I'm finna, what what happened what you doing <laughs> like no because i'm from berkeley so it's like we're super liberal we're always fighting for shit we will fight for fucking clouds like don't take away the clouds in the sky <laughs> like we'll fight for any fucking thing so do you it's feel like, like you have to assert your dominance in situations at work where there are male counterparts and male i co sure the fuck do because they be trying me i did it yeah. the last time because um a supervisor he was like 
it was weird. Like they were trying to have some type of rule to where we had to like stand up for hella fucking long, like the whole shift. And if you stay there over eight hours, it's a 12 hour shift. Mm. And he was like, oh yeah, well y'all can only sit down for like two minutes. And I'm like, what? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? I'm like, no. So like one supervisor was like, oh, you, can, you guys can sit down. You know, I'm not tripping. And then he was like, no. I'm like, well, y'all supervisors, y'all should be on the same level. And did you feel page. like he was more dominant toward you than he was to other women that worked in the company? Well, yes, I think he was. Mm -hmm. And I had to check him. Mm -hmm. And I even pulled him. To, I checked him in front of everybody, and I pulled him to the side. I said, check this out. I'm not like nobody else. I don't care if you think I'm the angry black woman. Right. I don't give a fuck about so, none of that. You're <laughs> I've not going to disrespect me. You're not going to disrespect Absolutely, nobody that's yeah. in my presence. Like, it's not going to happen. I'm just not finna have it because if I come into workplace respecting everybody I need to be on the same level I'm right. not I'm here to get my money and go the fuck home just like Marco said yeah your sexuality and the way you carry yourself the way you dress it shouldn't have anything to do with your ability to do your job and even as a femme because I am an alpha female mm -hmm. I've been in environments where I was I was working at a boxing gym and there was a guy there that um, always tried to assert his dominance over me in every situation like I put something here and he's got to move it like oh two my inches, god you know and so I started to realize that energy and when people would want to train with me, he would go over and be like, oh, why are you training with her? You know, she ain't been doing this as long as I have. And, like, stuff like that. You should have knocked so, his ass the fuck out. That's why I look better, though. It got right. to the point. Right. 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 That's why. You know, it got <laughs> to the point where he wrote me hate lyrics. Like, I found hate lyrics that he had written about me. And I reported it It was to a love letter. Pretty he much. Was in love pretty with you. much. He, he was upset. He was he so really mad. What happened with to you? this man? Did it got really beat him out of up? control. Nobody it got beat him up? Uh, I tried to place a hit on him, but it didn't go through. No, Ooh. I'm kidding. I'm like, that, <laughs> that. No, I'm <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding. No, I just walked away from the job and the situation because I realized that nothing was going to be done. Mm. And while we're on the topic of workplace discrimination, did you guys know that there are 15 states? in the United States in which it is legal for you to be fired for being gay. It's legal? It's legal <gasps> Let me guess. for that. you to be fired Texas, for being Louisiana, gay. Louisiana, Alabama, you know. New Orleans, so Florida. So I want you guys, I want each of you guys to like take a guess. What what state would you say All would be the number I one? Oh yeah, I, I would have said Texas and Florida for sure. Okay, so what about you? What I don't do you even think? know. Like I, 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 it's a shocking. It's shocking that in 2019 it is legal for you to be fired oh, it just breaks my for heart being gay. Where? Like, where? Well, some, I'm actually going to read the list. Changed, but you know, some laws, honestly, there's some laws that you can find that just haven't been changed. Correct. So I'm going to cut it. I'm going to chalk that up to some of these states just might not have changed laws. Like maybe like a state like Wisconsin or something might have it. Like, no, 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 no. But we're good up in the north. It. Up in the north. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to slow down. We're super liberal. Minnesota. Okay. I'm going to read. It's so cold. You need the body heat. Whose ever sexual preference it is. It don't even matter. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to read you guys the list. Okay, so according to BuzzFeed, it says all of the following, oh wait, here are 15 states with no protection for people based on their sexual orientation, okay? Oh At the top of the list is Virginia, which shocked me. No because shocked me. Oh, yeah, I could see. It's a country. Really? I lived in uh, Maryland, and I felt like there's a very large LGBTQ population there, so that, that caught me off guard. Yeah, because that's okay? a bigger yeah, but spot. But Virginia is where we country. Had that, um... That Virginia Tech, large, little, you're right. But Virginia is not. That's true. We try to make it seem like a lot of our states are. They move yeah. out of Virginia. They're not too progressive. Yeah. Number two is Missouri, which I don't think anybody's surprised about. Who goes number there anyway? three is Texas, which yeah, I definitely I expected yep. Texas right. to be number one, mm -hmm. but it's not. Um, number four, we got Arkansas. Mm -hmm. uh, <sighs> makes sense. Yeah, we Arkansas. got. North Arkansas. Carolina. Oh, See, you would have went out there, oh. Miko, and couldn't do nothing. First but you know, isn't that all? I'm really bad at geography. All below the Bible Belt, like um. anything that's like walking distance. <laughs> right? You better walk your ass on over there to the church and get saved. Oh my all right, God. so we got <laughs> we got number six, North Dakota. Which makes sense. I, I don't There's have an opinion nobody about. Nobody lives there Who anyway. Who right. goes there anyway? That's, exactly. that's what I'm saying. West Virginia. Okay, Kansas. Oh. Louisiana, you were right. Told you, man. Um, Mississippi yep. is number 10. Told you. We got number 11 at Nebraska, which I don't care about Nebraska. Ooh, I don't care to go there. Anyway. Number 12, Oklahoma, which I was devastated. Oh. And you know what's so you crazy? Know, I, like, born in I have a friend that played for uh, Oklahoma uh, State. Mm -hmm. And it's like they will, re they will recruit. You know, lesbians come play basketball, but they don't want you to be you. But, they don't but want then you they're to be like, you. but that happened to me. And then they'll make you do like that when they do the the women's basketball picture, and everybody got to be all glammed up. 
and it looks crazy. They tried to snatch my scholarship at one of my schools. Snatch? No. Yeah. Because the coach didn't like the way I dressed. I was too mask like. And it, it wasn't that I was masculine at the time. It was just cold. I'm from L.A. It was cold as hell. So I had <laughs> It was a lot 65 of degrees. When you're an athlete, athlete. I was you in get Alabama. to be you play for Alabama State? Yeah. Mm, girl, no. Talladega College. Talladega. A, a smaller one. It, yeah, it's HBCU. Oh. I went to an HBCU, too. Was you a Delta? I was about to play from the Amistad. Huh? Was no. you a Delta? Girl, no. Was you AK? <laughs> no. Oh, I couldn't have, I couldn't pledge, uh, or you, I wouldn't yeah. have a scholarship. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. It's hard because to do he both pay, sports. he paid and... for my schooling, and he said if you had to be there instead of at this morning practice, yep. you won't have a scholarship. That's the way it so goes. So did you, how long was you there Very for? Very few athletes can actually join the, the yeah, I couldn't. Yeah. The, I four years? Yeah, I graduated in 2000. So you stayed there the four or four, yeah. in the last year he tried to pull it, or what? The first year? No, tried they tried to pull it, um, a new dean came in. It wasn't the coach, it was the dean. Uh, the so coach was, tried to cut me from the team when he found out I was dating a girl who used to be on the old team. It, it, wow. it was a bunch of stuff. So did you feel hostility within the community at the university you went to in one of these? You went you went to school where? Um, Alabama. It okay. was Talladega, a little small town. Yeah. Yeah. Did you feel like you couldn't be you I, as far as expressing your sexuality? Or did you feel uncomfortable? No, I'm going to be me no matter what. Right. So, I mean, I was probably the angry black woman because I didn't care. <laughs> I said whatever I wanted to say, did what I wanted to do. I dated who I wanted to And I bet you they played your ass because right. they needed them points. They did play me. They did play me. And the only time I actually had problems there was on some racial stuff. I it wasn't see. like a... Right. Yeah. Well, mm. number 13 on this list, you guys, which yeah. I, we said South Carolina, mm. South Dakota, number 14, 15, Wyoming, which I, I don't think anyone is really like surprised about. Um, and I just want to read some of the comments. A lot of people are really disappointed. And somebody said, I live in South Carolina and I'm pansexual. I cannot believe this. So this is a person who actually lives in a state. They and they don't even know. And this. they did not know that right. they could be fired based on their sexuality. It's really important that you guys, you know, stay up and educate yourself on these laws because although Protect we want to be yourself. able yeah we want to be able to express ourselves but if you're living in a place where your job is on the line then you might want to keep your personal business but how exactly. that's not, that's not, yeah that's oh fucked up. i know i know a stud that works anxiety. at a phone company mm -hmm. and she i walked in there and i said what the fuck why are you dressed like this you look like a girl <laughs> Like, all the way, filmed up. I said, why are you dressed like this? She was like, well, it's my job. You know, that's the only way I could get money because her being hella nice to guys, getting phones, right. they'll buy the phones and buy the accessories and stuff. I'm like. But if they can't see her, if she's on the phone, why did it matter what she had on? No, no, she worked, no, she worked at she the worked, phone company. Oh, she wasn't like, telemarketing. She, like, she worked have in have the, like, you know, like selling phones. She was selling cell phones. I see. So she had to be look the part to uh -huh. sell phones. To gear to God. If you don't make your cut, your like, quota, yeah, then yeah. You got you got it was commission or something. Yeah. So well, speaking of gays, since we're all here, let's go ahead and stay on the topic. Juicy. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys feel that Hollywood is pushing the gay agenda yeah. onto the rest of society with the type of content and the type of characters that are written into plots that initially weren't really centered around sexuality? I feel like this because I can I can say this. Me being as me being an actor, I see more acceptance for gay men that look like women or dress like women, like. Like um like the the Instagram influencers that mm -hmm. dress up like girls and right. they, they do music or do videos and all that stuff they accept them faster than they will a stud because you gotta think about it how many studs do you really see mm -hmm. on the big screen for sure like that? and I agree with you because I feel like even in that there's a subculture of sexism within that mm -hmm. so. I don't feel like they're pushing an agenda. I feel like people might feel a certain type of way. I, they, Just because they they're do, seeing it more. They're seeing it more, mm -hmm. but it's it's fair. We have a lot of gay people in the freaking world. We should mm -hmm. be on the camera. Yeah. But they do push their own agenda, but that's just mm -hmm. like when they're doing black people on TV, they show us the way they want to show us. So they are mm -hmm. only picking out what they want us to see, but I think it's cool that I'm seeing more people 100%. that are in my community on the screen. Mm -hmm. My issue is people having a problem with uh, them teaching like the sex ed or whatever right but like i had i was arguing with somebody on facebook the other day i'm like in fifth grade they came into our class and taught us about sex ed they had the little banana absolutely they had the condom and i'm sitting there like what the You're fuck like, yeah, gonna need this. and what what is a good age to start talking to our youth about their sexuality and sex education and earlier the better yeah it's yeah. People what they can now, understand. grade third grade mm -hmm. but they can understand because these kids is fucking early I'm i kissed my first girl in second grade so I was I, humping I, in like, kindergarten. For sure. I for sure was playing house with all the girls. 
Yeah, I, I was, was playing I was with the dad boys' out. backpacks, oh, hiding them, and then making them kiss me in order to get their backpack back. <laughs> I was oh, a so. feeling people. You was a madam at first grade. Oh, my you was a madam. <laughs> okay, that's no. some pimp shit in, right in there. In kindergarten, first grade, I was the girl who couldn't stand in line. I, my mama should have known I was gay. I couldn't stand in line next to the boys. All the boys had cooties. I didn't want them to be in lunch line next to me. I didn't want them to sit next to me at the classroom. They was my best friends. Nope. I was a I'm fighter. Like, I was on the so. monkey bars, playing kickball, baseball. <laughs> with the, there was. I had more guy friends than girlfriends because girls were like weird. They wanted to be all like pretty. Maybe they could feel I, your dick getting hard. No. Possibly. Not in kindergarten, <laughs> but I was humping. <laughs> I didn't use <laughs> but nah, like, I don't know. <laughs> That's so weird. It's so I'm weird. sorry, I couldn't resist. It's so weird. I'm sorry. <laughs> so on the topic of schools and children and educating children, I know you've noticed all of the gender neutral bathrooms that we have in public places. How oh do you feel God. about that in schools and what is Bruh. too early to have that? I mean, should we have that in elementary schools? No. Is it appropriate or inappropriate? It's, um, it's, are the kids mature enough to manage that? It's cool to have it. It's just the perverts that want to go in there and be like, I'm transgender, ha ha ha. Like, no, you're not. You're <laughs> a regular guy that's just trying to get in the bathroom with girls. Like, get the fuck out. I, I know. I like it's fucking I, weird. It, <sighs> I don't know if it's appropriate for elementary because everyone's they're not mentally mature enough yeah. however if they want to have that option as well as then that gives That's girls I mean. this option to just go to a regular girls restroom and if the young man who feels like he is not supposed to be a young man wants to go into that gender neutral restroom then he can I you think know? Yeah. Like I, it, could, it, it could possibly yeah, give yeah, a balance yeah, yeah. I agree. but I definitely don't think that should be the only option because mm -hmm. but I think, I think they sense. should have I think the the girls bathroom and the boys bathroom and they have, should have the the gender bathroom, the gender neutral bathroom should only have one toilet. I so agree. No one a private feel, bathroom. Yeah, they have a people. private yes. bathroom so yeah. that when they go in there, they know it's just them. They're using the bathroom. They don't have nobody weird coming up in there trying right. to beat them uh, up. What you're saying is there's a them. lot of remodeling that's going to have to take place. Should, yeah, <laughs> because they some got, of these schools. Yeah. Yeah. That's just like in high school now. They're letting, listen, I am all for our rights, for mm -hmm. sure. But when they have the young men who are supposed to be women now and they're competing and wrestling with them. Oh, my goodness. That is Don't not okay. Because no matter what happens, your body is still at a different level than what that young woman's body yeah. is. And I'd be Absolutely. damned yeah. if my daughter is wrestling some grown little boy. I'm going to get out there and whip his little ass. Okay, I so, couldn't agree so more. Let's, let's debate on this because I know someone. Um, his name is Aiden. Mm -hmm. He is transgender. Okay. He was born a female mm -hmm. and was an immaculate track star as a female right mm -hmm. and then you know transitioned but he couldn't take certain pills but the the medicine he did take gave him facial hair is mm -hmm. he still competing as an athlete he, as had, a male? He, he had to he was competing in high school but they did have him run on the female side because he still he started had as a his female. parts and I he see. didn't have he wasn't fully transitioning yeah. He still was an immaculate track star. He got a scholarship for college. And they wanted him to, I think, shave his beard or other stuff. And he yeah. was just like, I'm done with track. Like, I'm not about to confine, be and, confined to yeah. do certain things. It's, very, it's a very thin line, I feel like. And it can be really confusing, I can imagine, for administrative. I mean, how do you determine? Like, let's say he did go through with this scholarship. Would he run on the male track team or the female track team? This how, is, how? This is the thing. No matter how much we want to be inclusive, mm -hmm. there are certain things that no matter what genetically we cannot change. Mm -hmm. No matter what, men are stronger. You got to get a really weak little boy to have a woman that's strong. Like, I don't give a damn if me and the same, a man my age, we both lifting weights, he's going to bench more than yeah. me. So there's nothing I can, I don't care how many pills I yeah. take, it's not going to yeah. happen. So in so this case, you think that it was, she should, she be on the should have team. been on the women's she team. She should be on the women's team. They shouldn't have so many restraints for her. Mm -hmm. They should allow her to run on the women's team. Yeah, to me, it sounds like they're more worried about what people are going to say. What she looks like. And but but, yeah. but with, with Aiden, he he did have, you know, he has I beard. know a lot of women who don't take nothing who got beards. I do too. So they can run. <laughs> One of my partners got mustache and goatee. And no, Don't take, no take nothing. But luckily she's a stud, so it worked out. It worked out. out. <laughs> when I wet my face, I got a little mustache too. <laughs> But it's not like you know, you know what they say when you eat pussy. Yeah, it's no, like, I don't know I what they know. say. What do they say when you eat pussy? It's like I guess that's why I got one. <laughs> I have a friend who's on like an intramural soccer team, and it's a co-ed soccer team, so mm -hmm. it's guys and girls. But the girls split off and um, now have an all-girls team, 
but it's still um, then some of the guys teams because they can't fully have a full team without three girls on their team some of the guys can only play with two or three players instead of six because there aren't enough girls now because the girls switched and have their own team mm. if there are going to be things like that I do think that there also needs to be able to have for the guys to have the option to have an all guys team I think I don't know it's like it's like trans oh. like a trans man soccer mm. team no, or she's talking about just men and women. Playing together, mm -hmm. having teams. Versus and splitting Sometimes, up. you know, I get there because, you know. So you're just saying it should be equal for everyone. Yeah. No one should be having more opportunity yeah, than, but than I do the think next person. Women, I have the men option, the co-ed mm -hmm. option, and the women option. Right. Okay. Absolutely. Makes sense. I think people a are a little too lazy to do that, but eventually it's going to. Were you looking at my TV? Oh, I did. <laughs> just, she I was looking dead into my TV. She wasn't listening to anything I was saying. She was like, caught, caught. I can put my I was like, I mean, I've been peeping them too. Well, well, I'm like, I can't be mad. I can't be mad. Right. Hey, I ain't been looking nowhere. Yeah. I ain't trying to have her wife shade. come up here and throw hands. You got the shade. Nobody can see what you're doing. I'm she has transitional know. lenses. Like when titties come out, they just go dark. <laughs> She goes, oh my God. Uh, well, I think this is a really, really um, good place to end our show. I know you guys are sad to see us go, and we're sad to see you go as well. We but we got more juicy me. topics for you for the next episode. Yeah. I am your host, Tiffany Tony. You can find me on Instagram at Tiffany underscore Tony underscore. Take us out, beautiful. Mm -hmm. Miko Rounds. It's Miko underscore Rounds. You know, our last couple rounds, baby. <laughs> Oh my God. I'll be the judge of that. Ooh. I got you. Oh, okay. oh to witness. Y'all win. <laughs> I'm Margot Graff. You can follow me at It's Margot Graff, M A R G O, which is C is what you get. Graph like a math graph, but with an F F baby. Okay. And I'm Shorty. Follow me on Instagram at I love all my fans. I love all my fans. Oh, Period. Period, Pooh. That's out. Episode two. <laughs> Peace.